Hello guys, I'm Yadagar Reddy and welcome to the series of Selenium interview questions. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is the difference between driver.close and driver.quit in Selenium WebDriver. So generally, in our web automation, what we are going to do? So if you want to test any web application, first we are going to open the browser. So after that, we are going to navigate to the application URL. Then we will perform the operations on the application, right? So once the operations are completed, that means once the execution is completed, we want to close the browser window. We don't want to keep the browser window as active, right? So you're not going to keep the browser window as active after the execution also, right? So for suppose, if you forgot to close the browser window or if you don't close the browser window, what happens? So it is going to cause two problems for us, okay? So the first thing is it will reduce the system performance. And the second one is it is going to reduce the network speed, okay? So why these problems are actually coming? Okay, let me tell you one small example so that you can understand, okay? So for example, if you are executing 20 test cases, each time you are opening one or more than one browser window, okay? So at the end of the 20 executions, you are having 20 browser windows minimum, right? So you're having 20 browser windows in case you are not closing the browser window at the end of the execution, okay? So this is a scenario I'm telling you, okay? So these 20 browser windows are going to consume some kind of RAM space, right? So if it is eating some RAM space, obviously it will reduce the system performance, right? So every process is going to consume some space. So that space will result in system performance reduction. Okay. So that is the first thing. And the second thing is, so these browser windows are already opened with some kind of a web application, right? So these web applications are consuming network also. Okay. So network speed also it is going to consume. So that is going to result in network speed reduction. Okay. So that is why you have to carefully observe that. At the end of the execution, you have to close the browser windows. Okay. So to avoid all these problems, it is better to close the browser windows at the end of the execution. Okay. So sometimes not only at the end of the execution, in the middle of the execution also, we have to close the browser windows. So what are those scenarios? So did you remember the concept of window handles? Yes. So if you click on any button or if you click on any link, it is going to open another child window or something, right? So those are the window handles, right? So you have one parent window on top of that. It is going to open another child windows for us. So sometimes we have to close the child window and sometimes we have to close the parent window only. So depending upon our requirement. So we want to perform the operations in child window and come back to the parent window or we want to perform the operations in the child window only and we want to close the parent window. Okay. So these are the requirements for us. Okay. So in these scenarios, we want to close the browser window, right? For suppose I click on one link and it is going to open another window for me. So I want to perform some operations in that window and I want to immediately close that window and come back to the parent window. So here in the middle of the execution only, I'm going to close the browser window, right? So not only at the end of the execution, in the middle of the execution also, we are going to close the browser windows. So to achieve all these operations, Selenium WebDriver is providing us two methods, okay? That is close and quit. So let me just write here, close and quit. So these are the operation. I mean, these are the methods Selenium WebDriver is providing. Okay. So how do we use these methods? So these methods are actually directly available on top of driver instance. Okay. That means, so here I have the driver instance, right? So the driver instance is this driver variable. Okay. So driver dot, so you can directly write close method or you can directly consume the quit method. Okay. So those two are directly available on top of the driver instance. Okay. So first let me take the close method. So first let's see why this close method is used and in which scenarios it is being used. So if you just mouse over on that, so it is going to tell you. So what it is saying, close the current window or quit in the browser if it is the last window currently open. Okay. So for suppose I opened google.com and I want to close the browser window. So it is only one window, right? So when I open the google.com, I'm not clicking on any button or anything. So only one window is there. So in that case, even though if you use close method, so it is going to quit the browser. Okay. So it is not going to close only the browser window. It will kill the entire session for you. Okay. And the next one is quit. So let me write the quit method. So let me just mouse over on that. So here it says quits the driver closing every associated window. So with this driver instance, how many windows are associated? So if you are handling this window handles, so in that case, you are going to have parent window and child windows, right? So all the windows are going to close. Okay. So I think you already knew how to write the driver, I mean window handles concept, right? So here I'm going to write one thing. So here I have one website. So I will leave this link in the description box below. Okay. So this website is having some buttons. So if I click on this one, so it will open another window for me. Okay. One small child window for me. So if I click on this, it is going to open multiple child windows for me. Okay. 
So these kind of scenarios, or if you go to naukari.com, so in the real time we have the naukari.com, right? So if you just refresh this, I'll show you, okay? So whenever you load the naukari window, so in the automation, it is going to open these three ad windows, okay? But we don't want to work with this ad windows, right? So we want to work with directly naukari website. So this is, this is the parent, okay? So these are all are the child windows that are opened. So I want to close these things. So before working with the parent window, I want to close these things. So why do I keep this opened? So that is why first we need to know how to close the windows. So we can see how to quit the entire driver session. Okay. So any, anything, any example you can take. Okay. So I'll take this example. So I'll write the code. So I think you already know how to handle the windows, right? So I'll write the code and I'll meet you there at the end of the code. Okay. So now here you can see I have written the window handle handling code. Okay. So what exactly I'm doing here. So let me tell you first. So I will land in this page. Then I click on this button and in this window, I want to perform one operation. So I will enter the text here. Okay. HYR text. Then I will close this window. Okay. And come back to this parent window. So that is the operation that I want to perform. Okay. So how do I do that? So I think you already know this concept, right? So I'm not going to explain again. So after this, I'm entering the text here, then I'm giving some thread dot sleep. Okay. So here I want to close the browser window. Okay. So for closing the browser window, I'm going to use the close method because I want to close only the currently focused window. So which one is having the focus now? The child window, right? So here I'm switching to the child window and the child window is having the focus now. Okay. So now after this, the child window is closed, but the parent window will be remaining active. Okay. So first let me show you this. So let me run the program. So the main window is open and it clicked on the button. So after three seconds, the text is entered. Then the child window is closed, but parent window is active, right? So if you use the close method, it is going to close only one window. Okay. The currently focused window. Okay. So here, instead of close method, I will use quit method. Okay. So let's see what happens in that case. So as I said, quit method will close entire windows. I mean, all the associated windows with the driver, right? So now this driver is going to have two windows, the first parent window and the child window. So it should close all the windows now, right? So the two windows should be closed. See, all the windows are closed. Okay. All the windows that are associated with the driver instance. So you may have a doubt like, okay, why this window is not closed and why this manual window is not closed. So it is going to close only the browser windows that are associated with the driver. Okay. So with this driver instance, two browser windows are opened and those two are already closed. Okay. Using this quit method. So this is the thing that you need to remember. So here you may have a chance of getting one exception. So what is that exception? No such session exception. Okay. So this exception you may face. So in which scenarios you are going to face. So I will show you that also. Okay. So for suppose here, I'm using quit method after the close method. Okay. So I don't want to open any child windows or anything. Okay. So in this scenario, what happens? I'm landing in this page, then immediately I'm using close method. So only one window is there. So it will close the complete session, right? So after that, I'm going to use the quit method. Let's see what happens. So the window is opened and close operation is performed. Then quit operation is performed. So we are not getting any exception here, right? So if you use quit method after close method, nothing will happen. Okay. So even though the driver window is not active, it is not going to throw any exception for you. If the driver instance is invalid, if the session is invalid, if you use quit method on that, it is not going to cause any issue. But if you just reverse them, you are going to get the exception. Let's see. So now you see, we are getting the exception, right? So what it is saying? No such session exception. Session ID is null using web driver after calling quit. So Selenium web driver is intelligent and it is asking that session ID is actually null. Are you trying to use the web driver instance after using the quit method? So it is already identified that. Okay. 
so this is the exception that you may face okay so if you don't use the methods appropriately then you are going to get this exception okay the chances are high so that is why it is always advisable to use the quit method at the end of the execution and use the close method in the middle of the executions based on the requirement okay so if you are dealing with window handles or something use the close method but at the end of the execution always try to use the quit method only okay so this is the concept guys so now let's come to the answer so if the interviewer asks you this question, what is the difference between driver.close and driver.quit? So you need to answer like this. Driver.close will close the currently focused browser window and driver.quit will close all the browser windows that are associated with the driver instance. Okay. So this is the answer that you need to tell. So if you want to give some additional information to the interviewer, you can tell this one. The possible exception thrown here is no such session exception. Okay. So this is additional information. It's up to you. Like if you want to provide, you can provide. If you don't want to provide, don't provide it. Okay. So if you provide this, so interviewer will know that, okay, you know the concept very good. That is what happens. Okay. So that is for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.